Hi guys. I know it's not Thursday, but um, I'm caught up with everything for school and I have a lot of free time today, so I decided to do my video just a little bit earlier. And um, also, I think I'm going to be totally exhausted by Thursday. Um, I'm still on the hotline this week, but I have moved from the vegetables to the meat, so I'm now cooking the hen, short ribs, all of for the main courses, and I'm learning a lot because um, last year I didn't really get much of a chance to um, actually be totally hands on in that station because we didn't have as many customers as we did for this year and so I'm really really glad that I'm getting a chance to learn everything. I'm asking a lot of questions and um, a lot of my classmates are also giving me advice because they have worked out in the industry for a while and so I find myself really really lucky and um, meat station is actually a bit more calm but than vegetables because in vegetable when you call one dish you got like five different components you got to cook up in like so many different ways and it's pretty crazy when orders start stacking up but um the me as long as you have like a set thing go and have everything organized wherever you want it and a system and you're constantly communicating with each other then it's, it, it's okay um but i love the sound of like just the meat hitting the pan when it's like sizzling. I just really, really love that sound. And um, also be able to like, you know, see like the browning and everything on the meat and stuff. I know I'm a bit of a food nerd. <laughs> um, so, um, so that's about it for now. Um, it's because not as much happened at the restaurant because, you know, I still have two more shifts left starting tomorrow, so I don't know what's going to happen. But um, I do want to share something with you guys I didn't share with you guys before. I have a food history class, and um, it's a really, really interesting class. And um, right now, we are at a place called Campbell House, and it's kind of like a bit of a museum, but all the. They have a, like a uh, downstairs. Uh, kitchen where it's almost like the olden days where um, they have an open fire wood fire and it's like a chimney there and we actually are learning how to cook as they did back then in the olden days and uh, even use the tools and ingredients and I find that it's really awesome because um, sometimes you won't be able to visualize how things are like until you actually are able to you know work with the things that they had and ingredients and make like uh, cakes, griddle cakes, is also puddings and um, I don't know what we're going to touch on next week but it's, it's really really cool. Um, we got to learn how to use the fire and how the heat distribution is like. It's not easy um, cooking with a just a crazy wood fire that you have no control. It's not like an oven where it's, everything's all circulated and um, things can burn pretty easily and you gotta like know how to keep the fire going or you know kind of make sure that the fire is all, isn't all in one spot and stuff so um, today we baked a cake and I was I had like the most fun time with my friends um, basically we had to make a cake and it involves beating egg whites and so we kind of asked the teacher what uh, what do we have like as a whisk? You know, usually you have the steel ones, right? And no problem, I could be by hand at school and stuff. But um, she gave us this little tool. It kind of looks like uh, wood twigs tied together. And we're like, okay, that's great. Or she gave us a fork. And so um, it took about a couple of us for like 20 minutes trying to beat the crap out of this egg white to make it fluffy and stiff. It, it, we were doing all several tactics, trying to use the fork and everything, and um, we were laughing so hard because the cake is very basic. It's just like you throw everything together, and we gotta use our hands to mix it. But the egg white, oh my gosh! It, it the while everyone else got most of their stuffed components again, the other tables for our cake, the whole thing that took the longest was like whisking that egg white. <laughs> And um, also we learned how to uh, bake it in the wood fire, which was really, really cool. It 
turned out okay with Fluffy. It tastes good, but just the bottom burns. But, um, you know, you, you gotta do it a lot to understand how the fire works. And, you know, I heard that uh, later on there's gonna be a dinner where uh, we have to serve like nine guests and cook up a dinner using similar methods. And so <laughs> it's been very, very, um, as I can say, interesting and, and fun. So hopefully after the third try for next week, whatever we're gonna do, we're gonna perfect um, how we cook the food. And so hope that goes well. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna post pictures up soon, um, haven't gotten around to getting them off my cell phone, so I will show you guys, uh, what I mean. Um, for now, that's all I'm gonna update you on, and, um, I will see you guys later.